What up everybody, this is RBT and this is like my 20th time I'm trying this, so if I can't do it this time, this can F off, but What up everybody, this is RBT bringing you my post 8 day game recap video uh, Kind of sucks, I didn't get to go this year, I've been 5 years straight um, It's a bummer, but we had prom last night and I gotta have my priorities straight And it's just been a way too long drive after prom night I live about 5 hours away, I'm from Mobile, so I just there's no really point in me going. Um, and DirecTV, which I have, does not provide Comcast, Sports South, or CSS, or whatever you want to call it. So the only way I got to watch it was the bits and pieces that ESPN played and whatever show they had going on. They were swapping between the Alabama, Virginia, and North Carolina spring games. And it cut off at halftime, and I didn't find a website that showed the game until five minutes left in the fourth quarter. So I only got to watch the, the end of the game. After the ESPN show cut off, but I was following the live Twitter feed of the Tide, TideSports.com staff, so props to them. But um, the white team, which is the first team defense, won this game 25, 24 to 15 over the Crimson squad. It could have been 31 to 15, but Vinny Sinceri had the last pick and decided not to run the ball back, and he decided to kneel the ball at the five yard line. Uh, he had a great game. He had two picks, I think, and like. He had five tackles, a fumble recovery, and the interception. Um, that fumble recovery was for a touchdown. The MVP of this game was TJ Yeldon. He can't stress enough how great he looked in his first game as a member of Alabama. Um, in his first official spring game, he had 16 carries for 88 yards, five touchdowns for 91 yards with uh, or five five catches for 91 yards with the touchdown. Um, he was named the MVP of this game. He looked great. He he ran with great explosiveness. He displayed balance. Um, I remember one play. He was about pushed to the sidelines. He um, was about to go out of bounds and got tripped up, and somehow managed to get another eight or nine yards off the off the carry. So he looked great. I actually got to see him in person last year. He played my high school the first game of the season last year. Um, he absolutely tore us up. He ran in the Wildcats about every play and just absolutely powered himself over every single player. They could have beat us 90 to nothing if they wanted to. But um, he's going to be a great one, for real. He's just a true freshman, so he has three years in the system because he's probably been gone after his his um, junior year to the NFL. Oh, my God, my dog better shut up. But um, also, D. Hart, D. Hart had a pretty good game. He had five carries for 44 yards. One of those scampers was like 20-something yards, I think which gained most of his yards. Uh, he had four catches for 32 yards. So both of the backs um, caught the ball pretty well at the backfield. Jocelyn Fowler had a few drops. He had that one touchdown drop. But I do think he had like 20 yards on the ground. Jocelyn Fowler is my favorite running back out of all four. Eddie Lacy didn't play this game due to an injury. Injury, Hold on, my dog. He's being a faggot. Um, you're not getting a beer, you faggot. But, um, sorry about that. Uh, where was I? Um, oh my god, he's possessed. Um, AJ McCarron had a decent game. Uh, aside from the first play of the game, he threw a pick. He was 29 of 42 for 304 yards with two touchdowns, three interceptions. The, one of the interceptions came on the first play of the game, the other was on a batted ball, and the last one, he was trying to do too much. With the game on the line, uh, trying to score so he could eat some steaks, and that didn't happen. He almost threw a pick six. Philip Sims had a pretty good game. He was 9 of 12, 135 yards with two touchdowns and no picks. And you got to give him some credit because he was playing against the first team offense, or defense rather. Um, well, no, he wasn't. He was playing against the second team. AJ was playing against the first team. Okay, never mind. Um, Philip Eli actually looked pretty good. He's kind of comparable to Greg McElroy because he doesn't have the like the physical ability, but he doesn't make mistakes. He does what he has to do to win, and he looked he looked pretty well out there. He made some pretty good plays. Um, Chris Black had three catches for 61 yards and a touchdown. Kenny Bell had five catches for 86 yards with a touchdown. That one of those was a 47 yard strike from AJ to Kenny on a flea flicker. So he knew that Doug Newsomeyer had to throw one of those in there. Um, why can't I breathe? What the heck? Cody Mandel, he punted for both teams, and he had eight punts for uh, the white team. 
and they average 45 yards apiece, and on eight on the Crimson team, 42 yards apiece. So maybe the the white team was giving a little bit extra money to uh to play better for them, which results in a white team victory. Um, on defense, C.J. Mosley led in tackles with 10. Seven of those were solo, two tackles for loss, and he had one the safety for the um for the white team early on, the first score of the game. Um. Adrian Hubert had seven tackles, which was the high for the white team. He had three sacks, which is huge, and four tackles for loss altogether. Um, Vinny Sinceri, like I said, noted before, he had a great, great game. He had a fumble return for a touchdown and an interception, which could have been for a touchdown, um, with five tackles. Ha Ha Clinton Dix had three tackles with a forced fumble and a, um, one tackle for loss and an interception. He's the one who picked off the pad bad the ball from AJ. And uh, um, Quentin Dow had a sack. Um, Wilson Love had a sack, and Ed Dixon had a sack. Um, or Xavier Dixon. What the heck, Ed Dixon? Um, the attendance for this game was seventy-eight thousand five hundred twenty-six. It's estimated from what I saw on TV that might be a little bit um, a little inflated number, but it was, it was better than most teams. Rather, um, not a record setter by any means. It might be one of the lowest in the next Haven era, but the honestly, the reason I think that the the numbers are down this year is because it was the day of the ACT. For high schoolers like me, that could be a problem. I was if it wasn't for prom being last night, I would have been taking the ACT. And before we knew prom was uh the night before the A Day game and the ACT, we were I was thinking about me and my friend taking the ACT in Tuscaloosa at Tuscaloosa High School instead of my high school because you can pick your testing site, but um, I decided not to because of the night before prom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I really don't understand why this game was on ESPN or anything. That was that was so gay. But uh, let's see anything else to talk about. Um, yeah, CJ Mosley looked good. My favorite player, Benny Sinceri, the dude plays with absolute passion. He looked great out there. Um, the number that scares me was AJ's three picks. He just that's, we don't need that. We don't. Since we lost Trent Richardson and a few of the wide receivers, we need to just be sound on offense. No mistakes. No mistakes will win us the games, and that showed us last year. We won the national championship with AJ. I think he only had five interceptions all last year. So just keep the ball low. Don't make mistakes. Don't try to do too much, and we'll be fine as a team. That is it, guys. This has been my A Day recap. I'm sorry for my dog being a faggot. I'm glad I finally got this done. Um. I'll see you guys later. This will probably be my last um, Alabama video until the uh, – I'm probably going to make my hate video for the Alabama-Michigan game pretty soon, actually, before summer maybe. So uh, I might make multiple ones depending on the feedback I get from the Michigan haters. That is it, guys. This has been my 8 day recap. Roll Tide, go Sox, and go Titans to you. Adios.